Hi, I'm Mike Langlois, LICSW, and this is Boo, and we're going on vacation for our, um, our therapy practice this coming week. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was to make a video for any patients that may be finding it difficult um, to tolerate some of the distress that can come up. Because just because your therapist is going on vacation for a week or two doesn't mean that your life stops. So understanding that, we wanted to make a video that could help perhaps not only have you some have something to hold on to between appointments to be able to remember us and the work we're doing together, but also maybe to be reminded of a specific principle of DBT. And that is the principle accept. So what I wanted to talk about today is an example of something that can hit all of the pieces of accept. And that is walking. And when you walk, you really are stepping into your body and stepping away from some of your difficulties. And so Boo and I wanted to run down the principles of accept, so what it stands for, and how walking applies to all of them. So first, the A in accept stands for distracting with activities. And that's pretty easy. To, to pretty straightforward, that if you're not feeling very well or you're not feeling happy, one of the things you can do is to get going, to activate, to do an activity that's different, something that can help you feel a little bit more mobilized, a little bit more powerful. And when you're walking, the thing is you're always getting somewhere. You're always going somewhere. So there's a sense of activity and motion that can help you feel better. The second is distract with contributing. Contributing is the second one. And with contributing, the way I think of it is I'm contributing to Boo's livelihood. So if you have a dog or if you have a child or you have a loved one that you can take for a walk with you, you're actually contributing to their life and their health and their happiness. And so that's one of the things that I know Boo really appreciates is when I take her for a walk. She definitely feels like I'm contributing. The third is distract with comparisons. Comparisons is the third principle of accepts. And I, I really have of mixed feelings about the idea of comparisons with other people. Um, I don't know that comparing ourselves to other people is always a very helpful thing. But for the purposes of walking and walking, the, um, walking mindfully, I thought of the comparison of Buddhist monks that do walking, tech, walking meditation that have actually done walking to meditation for hundreds of years. And so if you think about how they seem to be in terms of their ability to have some serenity, their ability to become contemplative, and their ability to meditate. Certainly compared to them, that's something I would like to emulate. Maybe you would too. The next principle is distract with opposite emotions. And when we think, one of the things we know about state-bound learning is that when your body is in a certain position, it can actually get your mind thinking and feeling the way it was the last time you were in that position. So if you're like this and you're sitting and you're slouched and you're, you're going to be using your body to tell your mind, oh, you know, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'm feeling sad. And one of the things you can do is distract that with an opposite emotion. And the opposite emotion is to actually move. And, what, and remember what I said about activity previously, when we're moving, we often feel a little bit more empowered. So if you're feeling vulnerable and you're feeling helpless, take a walk and you may actually feel a little bit more confident by just the virtue of moving your body. The next principle of accepts is distract by pushing away a distressing situation, by leaving it mentally for a while. There's nothing better for changing your mental scenery than a change of physical scenery. That when Boo and I like to go for a walk, there's something about just getting out of whatever room or whatever frame of mind we're in that is very much enhanced by the walking away from it. So when you're talking, thinking about pushing away a distressing situation or motion, going for a walk is really a very good way to do that. The next principle of accepts is distract with other thoughts, T as in thoughts. And one of the things that we know about walking is it can actually help our bodies start to feel better. And when you start to feel happier, 
you start to think differently. And so one of the things that walking can help you do is it can distract yourself from whatever the distress is by taking a walk. You can literally say to yourself, I'm not going to, I'm not going to dwell on this. I'm going for a walk. I'm walking away from whatever the situation is. I'm going to take my mind off of it. And walking helps you remember that you have a choice, that if you can have that moment of clarity, you have a choice to be able to distract yourself away from with other thoughts. Last but not least, accepts is the principle of distracting with other sensations. And so when you do walk, walk mindfully. Are you feeling hot or cold? Can you feel the pressure of the ground on your feet? Does the ground feel rough or smooth? Can you see things or smell things or hear things differently as you're walking? Take time to notice some of these sensations. Take time to notice what it's like to be in your body, to be happier and healthy and actually getting some exercise. Some of these sensations are sensations that are probably very different than what you were thinking about or feeling previously. In fact, you might not have even noticed that you were having a physical sensation at all because our thoughts can take us so far away from our body. So walking can help you by introducing new sensations into your mental environment and help you actually change your sense of feeling around the situation. So again, to summarize, distract with activities such as walking, Distract with contributing by taking someone else that you care about for a walk. Distract with comparisons. Think about the Buddhist monks and how they do it, and maybe you want to be like them. Distract from, with opposite emotions. The opposite of helplessness is progress or feeling like you're moving forward. Distract by pushing away a distressing situation by leaving it mentally for a while. Walk out of that room. Walk out of that mental space. Distract with other thoughts. Notice other thoughts that come into your mind while you're walking, maybe about walking, or notice your breath. And then finally, distract with other sensations. Really pay attention to what your body feels like as it's moving through space, as it's walking on the earth. So that's it for now. I will be seeing you soon. And in the meantime, remember, you always have some ability to change the thinking that you are not helpless and that you can use walking and walking meditation as a way of getting yourself more grounded and taking your mind off of things that may be distressing. That's it for now. Bye-bye.